All right, so I have Peacemaker and Nikki. You guys might know who Peace is. He's Mr. Nine Bill KP himself. I'm gonna ask this question. I've gotten this question a couple times, Peace. Um, we're I mean we're gonna do a specific interview stream one day, but I mm -hmm. wanted to ask like between this KVK and last KVK in terms of opponents, who do you think was harder to fight? Um. Oh, to be honest, uh, 64 has a much more people. Yeah. And. Well, you know, of course, all of their account are much, much older than me. You know, uh, I've been trying to keep up with the old account, which is very hard because of the gear and stuff. But mm -hmm. I'm doing all right. You know, I have the gear and stuff. Uh, accessories is very hard to get because you only get in KVK. But 30, 64 has yes, a lot of people, and it was harder for me during uh, last KVK because they all charging at me like a bunch of people, and they really aim at me like. Like they would go into the to the back of the murder ball just to kill me. <laughs> That's how bad. It was. But yeah. yeah, I never mind. I never, I never afraid of dying and stuff like that. I just keep going out and keep fighting. But twenty one is really, really uh, a tough for, for individual uh, players, you know, because most of them are really, really strong. Like in average, yeah, man. most of them are. Tough. They have a, a, a more average, um, a more strong people than than 64. 64 has more people, but yeah, they they both they both great kingdom. You know, they both like imperiums and a lot of good players. So any imperium is tough to 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 battle. You know, after the first like two hours of KVK or KL, like what was in your mind? Did you think we'd win or was it like over? Oh, to be honest, to be honest, I uh, uh, when I thought about this KBK, uh, we know how strong the, the 21 Kingdom is, and I had maybe like 40% of us winning and 60% of them winning, but hey, it turned out to be better than that. It's, it's, it's good for us. You know, our allies have been working very hard. They've been disturbing uh, uh, 21 when we get to Kingsland. Uh, every everybody's worked their way out to 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 win the KVK. You know, nobody is not just all about us, but our allies doing a great job. We've been doing a great job too. Everybody's working hard for this KVK. That's how. That's why we we can handle uh, uh, twenty one. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I, I I kind of described it as like a quantity versus quality type of fight, right? Like they have the yeah, quality yeah, for sure, yeah. right? They yeah, have oh. the quality for sure. Yes. It's it's kind of funny how we ended up matching and allying with your first kingdom ever. <laughs> like I never thought uh, we'd see. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I started I started in 2265 and I don't think I ha I have any more friend there because everybody else just migrated it out, you know, but, but yeah, I started in 2265. I kind of like missed that kingdom because I started there and most of the friends follow me here and some of them are quit quit already and i basically have no friend from 2265 anymore so y'all gone i think i used last kvk i got 9.3 billion kp i used about 10 years of speed up <laughs> oh my goodness 10 years on and healing on healing alone and in this kvk i had a little over 25 years of speed up and I think I used more in this KVK than the last KVK. I don't get much uh, as much KP as last KVK, but hey, I'm over five billion. I'm I'm quite happy with the the, the what I got. You know, I you know the this, the only reason because I use so much speed up because you know a few people hitting you all at the same time. Uh, they're with max packs and everything. It hurts, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they, they really hurt, you know, but mm -hmm. just keep on dying, keep coming back out. Just, you know, use a lot of speed up for that. Yeah, that's that's one thing that I noticed this KBK. It's way harder to get KP than last KBK for sure. Yes, and but the good thing is most of the 21 players, they all, they, I, I, I haven't seen anybody using T4. Yeah. So basically they're all using t5 and t5 has more kp points which is very good i mean unless you're fighting a uh, daybreak where you get uh the t1 marches <laughs> oh yeah you should tell, oh, man. You should tell the stream you know about, about your t1 craze 
let me let me check let me check my my uh, T1 kill. Look, I had 12.8 million uh, T1 kill. I, I, at first, I didn't know they were they were sending uh, out the uh, T1. T1, right? They, yeah, exactly. I didn't know either. I start killing them, and I look at my T1. I was like, "Oh my god, I'm 22 million. Oh, that's, that's not too bad." But, but we learned we learned a lesson, you know. We and, and I did what what 33 did to me to 21. Uh -huh. I just hit them with when we're like so much outnumber, we cannot go out. I hit them with T1 too. So that's that's just part of the game, you know. It's just cool. It's nice. Nothing wrong with that. Just for fun, you know. Sometimes you you have nothing to do. You just do whatever it takes to have fun. <laughs> you know, it's funny too. <laughs> like I would see your T1 watches, and I'd literally see 1021 just like try to run away from them. Sometimes, <laughs> like they like no no yeah. T1 kills, please. Because T1 kills are kind of looked down upon in the Rise of Kings community, right? It's like oh, you're like a traitor. Like you know, like you know, like, people trade T1s for rewards and such. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, but at, at one point we cannot uh, uh, stop fighting the uh, T1 from 33 because like 80% of them are fighting with T1. Yeah, and the so thing is T1 hurts too. Like if they get a skill cycle lock, they're going to trade positive yeah. against you. So it's like, yeah. dang. But I heard they're I mean, changing it. I heard they're changing it for next KBK though, is uh, what I was told. Oh, okay. I, I don't know anything about that, but, yeah. but maybe, yeah, because it only takes, I, look, I can bring two marches out, cavalry marches with 430, well, 400k something, and it only takes like three seconds to heal. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I would, would have the T5, even though so many people swarming me, I would still get like, like 30 to... 35 or maybe 40k depends you know the 40k uh, uh t5 kill even though they're swarming at me the, the more they swarm you just aoe it's better uh -huh. you get more and then you only take three seconds to heal yeah and it takes a lot more resources for them t5 to heal so yeah it's yeah. it's it's super cheesy but it's super effective 100 yeah. percent yeah well some some people might say that you're being cheap about it, but it's much it's just part of the game, you know. It's a strategy yeah. game, so it's it's one of those things where you blame the game, not the gamer, right? I I have the yeah, same I'm... I have the same like mentality towards fort meta, right? Like when they build up forts, you can't really blame the KD for building up forts. That's just like the way the game is 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 right now. That's like what you have to do to win. So I could say a similar thing to T T one for sure. I'm in... Yeah, I mean, look, if you are outnumbered by like five to one and you cannot go out, you want to do whatever it takes to damage them, you know, even just a little bit, you know? So, yeah. But hey, anything that would hurt enemies in KVK, we might be friends, but when it comes to uh, uh, KVK, we are enemies. <laughs> For sure, for sure. Hey, Pete, I'm gonna ask you this in an interview later, but I want. What, how did you find out about ROK? Anyways, like, where, how'd you start playing? Uh, I was playing a lot of games before, like. Uh, mostly I like uh, I like strategy uh, games, like war games and stuff. So I was playing PUBGs and uh, COC. Uh, oh, Clash! Yeah, and, yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had like 18 accounts on that game, but I abandon them now since I play wrong. There's no more time to play any other games. <laughs> I, I was watching a YouTube and I saw the uh, ad. So, oh, this sounds like fun. It looks like fun. And then I just downloaded it and that's when, when I started last. Yeah, the I think I'm not even piece. two years ago. This I started piece. in April, like year, almost two years now. So. So the, 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 the YouTube ads work, the YouTube's ads work, because that's the one thing that people complain about is like the YouTube ads in ROK actually don't reflect the game. And it's kind of like, it's like, there, there, there's some good ones, but there's some bad ones. Like there's like the one, like, the, like they're in a cafe or something and it's like, to sit on this table, you need five mil power. And the guy comes back the next day. It's like, I chose Germany or to train troops to gain power. And you know what I mean? <laughs> like, no, so. look, you these days, all the ads of the, uh, uh, a game, all misleading. Mm -hmm. Not just ads, yeah, all, all, all mobile games for sure. 
That's like the big yeah. trope about mobile game ads is just like it's nothing like the game you play. But at least Rise of Kingdoms that the product does deliver more so than than most of the mobile games I've seen. How how many offers from different KDs do you get? Like how many PMs do you get a day? Cause I'm sure like everyone knows who you are. They probably want you you and their KD. Like every the... I mostly get invited during KVK. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of kingdoms that message me that you know, but hey, um I don't like to move around because uh you know I have to bring in my farms and that and I have so many uh, uh, friends here. Uh, this has been my home since KBK1. Uh, it's really, really tough for me to go anywhere because, uh, yeah, I have, I'm, I'm so comfortable here and I like the, the kingdom. P268 is, is, is a very well-managed kingdom and it's not about winning or losing KBK. You, you know, when you are too comfortable and everything is good here, it's quite fair and it's hard to move. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I thought about it. You know, I thought about going to like 1254 to Bunny. You know, that guy is a great guy. And there's a lot of other good kingdom, 60 GTs and stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really strong kingdom. But nah, to me, it's all about family. You know, I have so much families here. So this is my home. Yeah, peace. If you go to 60 GT, will you uh, take me as a plus one? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. That's 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 a, a very strong kingdom too. You know? Yeah, they're super strong. Did you hear about um? But, like they they got they got a lot of strong players for sure. It, <clears throat> yeah, but that's sometimes it is it is a, a, a problem like being a very or uh, or too strong of a kingdom. You know, I rather have a kingdom which is not super super strong because if your matchmaking is bad you won't get any kill like a lot of a lot of kingdom strong kingdom are like that you know they they just don't want to fight you because it's, it's you're useless. too strong yeah that's yeah. that's actually what's happening with 1254 right now right with their last kvk um yes. is that like i that? have some mm -hmm. and they, they they're complaining about i can't even get heal because you know 1254 is like crazy crazy strong and we've been allied with them we we know how strong they are they have strong people they have so many people you know when they go, go out man they cover the whole the whole screen your, your screen wouldn't even fit to see all of them <laughs> yeah zoom out. yeah it was crazy their their presence in open field and i remember at one point they were fighting like four kingdoms five kingdoms at once so that was <laughs> That was insane. Yes. That's how strong uh, Bunny's kingdom is. Well, I, I admire the guy. The guy's, you know, I seek for some advice to him. He's, he's a great guy. He's willing to help me with, with, with gears and stuff. You know, I asked him a, a few questions. And he always replies. Nice guy. I got a question from Tash Piece. What is your goal or milestone you're trying to hit next in Rise of Kingdoms? You know what's funny? Wait, wait, wait. The first thing. Well, what's my goal? What? Like, what's your what's your goal or milestone you're trying to hit next in Rise of Kingdoms? Go in what? Like just anything. KP? Like just any. Oh, like, anything. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I just like fighting, so I try to get as much KP as I can. I don't have specific goal for uh, KP in any KVK because sometimes you, you don't get what you want you know like matchmaking is bad or you get locked down who knows you know so it's hard to to get kp sometimes but i feel like my goal is kp we've definitely been pretty lucky with our kvks they've all been at least some semblance of fun throughout like um mm -hmm. except for kvk3 that kvk3 but that's kvk3 but um kvk2 you know we we fought those big and big uh rising star kingdoms or whatever KVK four, we had that twelve oh eight, um zone zone five. That was super fun, right? Last KVK, we were three v five, and we had a ton of fights there. This KVK, we had a 
1021 and like they're still putting up a fight even though they got kicked out of Kingsland so um but yeah yeah you know what's yeah, funny but... Peace. one of the things that I remember about you the first memory I have of you is um you you said your goal when you first started the game was to get every single commander to level 60 and maxed <laughs> <laughs> that, I don't, I don't that, know if that's still a goal for you, but <laughs> that is very true because when I started this game, uh, you probably I didn't know how many commanders there were, right? Like you didn't like. <laughs> Look, I have no friends playing this game. I have nobody guiding me playing this game. So you know what I did? I spent a lot of uh, uh, gold hats into a. Uh, uh, Who's that? Who's that girl? Uh, the getter. Uh, let me let me take. I forget her name. How Leopatra? can I forget her? Sundial? Cleo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put a lot of gold head into Cleo. I remember <laughs> playing uh, when I started this game, mm -hmm. and there was sunset. I was like, "Ooh, Cleo is good." I was like, mm -hmm. I, started putting, I started putting hats into Cleo. I was like, and then nobody, you know, I, I didn't have anybody, you know. So I, I made a lot of mistake. I, I I became T1 in zone uh, one before zone uh, T5. I, yeah, I didn't even know how to use the, the ruin to get buff and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I, I, I didn't know anything. So, yeah, that was that was something that I would, <laughs> if I can, I would go back and redo the whole thing. <laughs> but, but it's too late now. But, uh, you know, then when I came to C268, a lot of people guide me. So it's, it's become much, much better, you know. If I would go back, I wouldn't even become T1 in, in, in Zone 1. For what? I didn't know anything about this game. I thought just, oh, okay, I got to be strong. I got to do this and do that to, to be strong. I was the only one that... that I was That's interesting. The only, uh, you wouldn't yeah. rush T5. What would you What do you do instead? Um, I didn't know anything about the game, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know anything about the game. I was, uh -huh. just, I was just like, okay, I'm going to max this. I'm going to max that. I'm gonna, I keep maxing and then I became T5. Yeah, but... I would have done it if I knew a lot about this game. I would have done it like right after the uh, 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 zone three. You get the buff, you get the duke, and everything. Oh, you know? you, you, yeah. You so you get it. you get better. Yeah, you get like a duke buff, all that kind of stuff. Got it. So it's like more so about efficiency than anything for you. Yeah, like... and mm -hmm. I have I have a bad habit back then. For you asked me about the commanders. Yes, I did max everything at my kingdom where i started i met every one of the commander before uh uh uh, uh kvk one even the gatherers because i don't like the way it looks you know yeah you're like the sparkly I, I, border and everything i know the <laughs> yeah i don't uh, like the, the way it looks back then so yeah that's how i know you're a whale you match things because of the way it looks <laughs> oh my goodness but it, KVK2 was the worst, and KVK1 was very good, you know, I, you know, even though we lost, I was still fighting, you know, fighting alone, uh, but that time it was easy because you are strong and you don't face so many uh, uh, T5. Yeah, yeah. I remember, wait, we should tell the story piece. I remember when you migrated into 2268, because they would tell me about, yeah, there's this guy that deleted 20 million power worth of troops to migrate here. Do you remember that? I didn't have any passport. I didn't have any passport. I only had enough for 80 million powers and I was I was like 102 million. So I had to delete it. I had to delete it 2 million uh, troops. And the, 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 the worst thing is I didn't know how, to, you know, back then I didn't know how if you can fill a hospital and then end up saving some of your troops. <laughs> I didn't yeah. even fill up my hospital. I just deleted it. He just deleted 200, 200 2 yeah. mil worth of troops. I heard that story. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. yo, this this guy is crazy. He's he's not going to be a good migrant because he's too crazy. <laughs> His power is true. So that's insane. That's insane. That's dedication right but there. I did a lot of uh, dumb thing in, in, in Stone 1 in, in my uh, kingdom where I started it. Mm -hmm. I uh, would TP to every one of the guardians. And kill them. <laughs> yeah. Experience point. Yeah. And I did that for like every day. <laughs> I don't know how. I, that was kind of dumb, but hey, you didn't know the game back then, so. 
Okay. And I was using like a gem suit to TP. Yeah, you might as well just jump uh, the box. I just, I, just, <laughs> I just wanted, I just wanted to max the commander so bad. I that's why I did that. It was mm -hmm. something I should have, I shouldn't done, you know. KVK one was over. I have killed forty six something thousand guardians. KVK won over forty six thousand guardians. Yeah, so I've been I've been doing a lot of guardians uh, before KVK. What do you think about the armament system? Like, do you do you like it? Do you dislike it? Like, how do you how do you feel? Well, you just have to keep getting it until you get a, the, a good one. But most of the the things you get from there are trash. That's what yeah. but they want you to, to to do. You know, just keep buying them. And also, you see how the the, the let me let me check what, what, what is it called? You see how the superior where you can yeah get the bundle the, uh, oh inscription oh yeah you can yeah you can sell the the whatever you don't need and then try to get coins and do the inscription right yeah that's you need to keep buying the bundle so you can get the inscription eventually yeah, otherwise you'll never yeah. get it yeah and most of most of the time. You don't get like good stuff from ornaments, just ordinary things, you know. But it, hey, it helps, you know. But that's the thing; you have to keep keep getting it to hope someday you get a very very good set of ornaments. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. And the worst thing is, mm -hmm. the worst thing is, it's so tiring to look at the ornaments and oh, to the, yeah. The compare one another see which one's the best yeah that wastes a lot of times you know